Welcome to Spiritual Psychic with Sarah Wiseman, where you'll learn how to unlock the secrets of spiritual intuition and your own psychic gifts. Here's Sarah. Welcome to Spiritual Psychic. I'm Sarah Wiseman. Today we're talking about meeting your match. It's interesting to me today because I I don't know what I'm going to record when um, I'm recording uh, from a list of things I wrote several months ago and so today I just sort of open up when I'm going to be recording and and there it is and and right before this right before this recording uh, my husband said to me this phrase about meeting your match you know when you have met your match you've met your you've met your mate it's very interesting and I had forgotten that and then here we are doing this teaching today so every relationship you're in is a direct reflection of your spiritual understanding. And this isn't new news. You've, you've heard this before. Just want you to look at it again. So depending on where you are, this can be an okay truth to look at or and it can also be one of the most terrifying statements you've heard so as you look around at the relationships you're in you're like really that person is a direct reflection of my spiritual understanding hmm (laughs) better get more spiritually informed ah you know and, and the other thing is you know like it or not, we attract those we have karma with and we attract those we have lessons with and everyone we meet is our teacher and we are theirs. So when you look at the people you are most struggling with and usually uh, in most cases there's going to be a tiny handful of people that you just continually (laughs) have this stickiness with or maybe you have you know really big fallings out with or or um, problems with or issues with so when you look at the people you are most struggling with look immediately to your own self as a mirror of them this is so hard we don't want to we don't want to do this we want to have this idea of like me victim them perpetrator Or, poor me, bad them, victim, victim, just let go of the victim and just look at it. The universe brings you together because you have things to learn together. It's like like in school when you had to do the buddy system, like to work on a project. You're like, oh, I want to work with my best friend. We get along so well and we know how to how to do the science equipment really well and we both studiously wear our goggles and we use the Bunsen burner correctly and we write down the results neatly and we're just exactly the same and we know how to work together and why can't I work with my friend? And of course the teacher has put you with this wild, crazy other student who never wears the safety glasses and tries to blow things up and, and makes you do all the recording of the, of the experiment why, why, why? And of course, because you have lessons with this person. Your lessons in the science classroom <laughs> example might be, oh man, I got to stand up for myself. I got to just say no to this, this flake off. And for the flake off, wild person is like, huh, I'm being called to be shown that my, my actions aren't working for somebody. I got to pay attention to that. So if you're having trouble with people, look and see where there's a where there's a mirror. If you're having trouble with somebody who's negative, look 
to your own negativity. If you're having conflict with somebody who can't keep their word, look to your own ability to show up fully. If you're having issues with somebody who keeps thinking small, look at your own relationship to thinking small. We meet our match over and over and over again until we learn our lesson and move on to our new, our new match, our new mate, soul mated lesson learning (laughs) pair up that the universe has provided for us like some giant tinder in the sky to soul tinder for soul lessons. Um, not talking romantically. It's just a little joke there. Uh, just talking in general, all these convergences of you and another person we're here We're here to teach each other. We're on the buddy system because we have what each other most needs to learn. And this is how karma, soul lessons learned over time, works. We meet our teachers over and over and over again until we master the lesson. And of course, we meet our teachers, but they are disguised as other people (laughs) who don't look particularly like teachers at all. You know, they look like the person who bugs you or the person you're in conflict with or your ex or the person that you have trouble getting along with at work, whatever it is. We meet our teachers over and over again until we master the lesson. And this might take an hour, might take a lifetime, It might take many lifetimes. And, you know, how long it takes isn't really important. We're souls, we're unlimited, we're infinite. Uh, It takes you 30 lifetimes to learn a particular lesson. It's not of concern to the soul. You might prefer to have the hour-long tutorial instead, but to the soul. Mm, Patience brings all things eventually And when you have completed that particular lesson with somebody, there's always more soul growth in this graduate practicum called life. There's always more soul growth. Look at who you're attracting. Look at how you're a mirror of them. Look at the lessons that you are there to learn together. Uh, Pay attention when you meet your match. There's great learning here for you. I'm Sarah Wiseman. You're listening to Spiritual Psychic.